Al. Welcome to uh, Head to Head with uh, Lee and Jason. Jason Lee. Uh, we're talking elections. We're talking politics. Big issues, of course. One of the big ones is going to be the the gap mm. between rich and poor. Hey, no, but what is glaring obvious? I mean, I mean, the rich list came out just not so long ago, right? Mm. The Graham five point five billion. Okay. Mm. Um, on the other hand, what's coming out um, next week? We've got an advanced copy here. Is mm. the the poor list? Yeah. And um, that makes it interesting reading. You got to remember the poor list um, pretty much celebrates. Those same people, mm. those people mm. which mm. have mm. greed, drive, mm. hunger, um, but have an innate ability to turn a sure winner into a sure loser. One of the one of the interesting ones on the um, uh, on the poor list was a guy by the name of Hamish Gimble. Oh, I know that you've heard of three. Hamish. Yeah. yeah, he came in at number three, and he was a uh, property developer who um, lost seventy seven million in his first year of trading. Yeah. Which uh, because uh, the problem with Hamish essentially was that he had an innate ability to buy property high and to sell low. Yeah. Which is uh, as it's you know, it's always going to get your debt straight off, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely. He was borrowing a lot of. Money in his first year setting up his business, often from himself. Well, yeah, he was borrowing from himself and charging himself a high rate of interest just to prove that he was a bit of a mover and a shaker. Yeah. He was buying property high at an auction situation and then often selling that same property at half the price at the same auction. This very same auction you just bought it at. Well, actually, you know, and, and and Hamish's whole philosophy when he was speaking to the Financial Times to Graham Wood and uh, uh, and I, I've got it here, I think. And, and Hamish said to um, George Woods. I live by the mantra, if it looks too good to be true, then it probably is. But what the hell, there is a chance it isn't, and I would hate to be the guy that misses out. So I think that pretty much sums him up and, and why he found himself in such catastrophic financial Well, we all know those kind of people, don't we? Um, yeah. the, the, the type that don't want to miss out. And it, it brings in the, the number two, I mean, Colin Churchill. Uh, this, is a, this is obviously, everyone knows the story. I, I probably don't need to go into it. But um, Colin Churchill, of course, started up Faxbook in um, response to um, Facebook, the, the phenomena, the yeah. uh, computer phenomena. Um, Graham obviously started this in response to... Um, that particular well, for situation. people that are basically scared of computers, basically, yeah, he yeah. wanted a communication network for mm. people. Started up Faxbox, so he's got thousands of people around the world, millions. Well, mm. that was his aim: communicating by, by noisy fax machine, sending photos, chatting, etc. And um, apparently, I mean, the cost of setting up astronomical, mm. but he was getting um, charged sixty-five million a year. It says here mm. um, in fines for gross paper wastage. An yeah. uh, average Faxbox user with just three hundred friends yeah. could use up to four tons of paper a year. Yeah. Okay. And that's like, not. E- and that's not even talking about the ink cartridges that you'd be. An expensive thing. That's not even sending photos or anything. Mm. That's just. That's just your basic sort of chat. Mm. It's, it's no surprise that the um, the technology magazines dubbed it ass book. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I, I think that's pretty much well deserved, you know. And I mean, Steve Rowling, right? For example, look at this guy. He was uh, he, he was selling off all of Walt Disney's merchandising rights, the Star Wars franchise, and the whole of the Beatles back catalogue. I mean, what went wrong? Well, we didn't own him, did he? I mean, you can't. You can't just go sell stuff you don't own you mm. know this was a guy from Tekuiti mm. with his wife Carol mm. just living mm. there um, semi-retired on a farm you just can't get online and drag this stuff up and then mm. go out there in the public market and start selling this stuff yeah well because of Walt Disney didn't even didn't even know who this person was did they no. they never heard of him no so I mean the lawsuits alone from those people have certainly mm. put him right up there with um, the top mm. of all those other guys on the poor list I mean it, it doesn't help either that he was um, a startup um, venture capitalist in um, in Faxbook mm. as well so pretty much looks like we've uh, all the time we've got for this this episode thanks See you everyone. Everyone.